So let's take a look at how you can download and install SQL Server 2019. So if you go to official website for SQL Server, you'll find that it shows you the current available SQL Server 2019 version. And in short, it will be releasing this 2022, right? So let's go to the download page to download the version available. So if we are going to download, we have two options. One being developer edition, second being express. The difference between the two is developer edition is identical to enterprise edition. Uh, and the biggest difference for developer edition is that you can't deploy this for commercial reasons or for any final release or production value, right? So you can do everything you want, like enterprise features will be used if you want, but it will remain for limited use. As for Express, it is a pretty much trimmed down version of SQL Server with limit to 1 GB to 4 GB of uh, you know usage of RAM and also your uh, database size is also limited right and also there is a core limitation I think it is around four cores that will be used by Express so what we'll do in here is download this developer edition so if you click on this it should download one installer right so it should look something like this and we are going to double click on it it will require admin rights for executing this wizard now here you see sql server 2019 developer edition so here you see three installation types first being basic so only the server and its configurations will be downloaded then there is download media which will download all the set of files then you can decide on what to download later but it will only download the files required then comes the custom part which is this so this is what we are going to install by selecting the configurations that we need right so basically if we click on custom and here you see specify SQL Server Media download target location right so let's change this to D right and if we click on install it should download required files so take some time and wait for download to finish okay finally once done it will close the installer and we'll start another window and here you see it opened the SQL Server installation center okay so as you can see there are multiple options that you will notice here okay now let's proceed with the installation of SQL Server 2019 click on this installation button click new SQL Server now it should start this particular right here you can see there are no updates click next it will scan for some of the files to download okay now to solve this particular firewall problem you can go through the link and make sure that 1433 1434 port are enabled click next now make sure you have selected developer edition make sure to accept license terms click next now here in instance features select database engine service choose SQL Server replication then you can also select Python R or Java depending on which support you want then there are a few more items that you can check like full text semantic extraction data quality polybase query service analysis services right so you can choose some of them right then there is also shared features for let's say if you have already added our support it will be visible 
then there is data quality client so those objects will be installed as well right then client tools connectivity right so includes component for communication between client and server right then integration services right so you can choose to install it by reading through whether you need them or not right then you have client tools backward compatibility right there is client tools SDK distributed replay controller replay client then finally master data services right so these are some of the options that you can select then there is also instance root directory if there are already things listed there you will find it there right now what we will do is we will go through the features one more time right so you can select them right and let's go with next it will tell you how much space is required right here you can type the instance name sql server 2019 right then you can click next and here you see you have database engine analysis service all set for automatic and server agent set to manual you can change that to automatic if you want right so it will be started based on the trigger right then there is grant perform volume maintenance tasks to sql server database engine okay so click next then there is windows authentication mode or mixed mode you can add your password here right then you can add current user it will take some time but it will search through and add the user within the list because i am administrator i'll be listed here now click on next and then here you can choose the server mode which is multi-dimensional data mining mode or tableau mode or power pivot mode so let's go with the default you can add user this is specific to analysis service so just add your admin here Now click next accept the terms because you will be downloading Python so you have to accept the terms and license before clicking next now click next right now go ahead and install Finally, you will get the message that everything is successfully installed. We can close this now. Now, next thing is we will download some of the tools. Let's see SQL Server Management Tools and Server Data Tools. For now, let's go with SQL Server Management Tools. It will take you to download SQL Server Management Studio link right and it will show you the version click on this okay considering it's 667 MB it will take a while for download now after download I have found SQL Server Management Studio on desktop it requires admin access so make sure to 
say yes right now here it will ask you to choose the path so go with that you can change if you want simply go with default option okay as you can notice you will have sql server management studio along with azure data studio now at the end it will ask you to restart your system now after restart we can verify if sql server management studio is installed along with our sql server 2019 setup so we go to microsoft sql server tools 18 and select management studio so it should show you the boot image that looks something like this with the current version 18.11 this version has nothing to do with our sql servers version both of them are independent now here you see your sql server management studio showing you authentication option and here you see your server name with option for windows authentication you can also choose your sql server authentication with the password that you added during the installation you can click on connect to see whether it takes you to the database so this is your connection and your master databases are listed here if you can see this that means you have successfully installed sql server 2019 along with sql server management studio